Hello and welcome gamers welcome back with another video of Clash of Clan today i'm going to show you the most over powerful spam attack strategy that is root rider and valkyrie with this attack strategy you can make up to 6000 legend trophies without any hesitation so let's jump into some live attacks and some replay so you can understand better how to use those root riders and valkyries properly So as guys you can see we have a couple of root riders and some valkyries with four invisible spell i'm going to use it on my royal champion so i can take a lot of defense with this invisible champion so we got this kind of base town hall is uh, corner side we have to funnel first so my all of my troops can go center of this base I just need some second before I deploy my troops and here we go with my root riders which valkyrie siege breaks all three of my heroes and as guys you can see equal artillery is uh, dealing a lot of damage I'm going to drop a heal spell here guys you just need to wait some seconds before you deploy your royal champion because with the royal champion i usually takes town halls and big defenses like uh, scatter shot monoliths etc with invisible champion and here's the most irritating thing i have got the ice golem in spam attacks it frees the entire your troops while spamming and uh, take a lot of damage that's the irritating thing for me i just have to wait some second before i deploy my rc as guys you can see queen is going another side alone that's a that's a bad news for me and i uh, just uh, need to wait some seconds before uh, deploy my rc again deploy my rc i'm waiting because this spell tower this spell tower will do a lot of problem for me if i deploy my rc that will lock in another defense i just uh, take the town hall with my rc i just need to wait some time this single inferno dealing a lot of damage and here we go with the rc and a invisible spell defending royal champion seems like a problem here but don't worry we have invisible spell for our royal champion and town hall goes down i'm going for now the expo that's more important and the scatter shot uh, seems like a problem here and uh, here we go uh, now i don't think i'm going to get here treasure here so i just deploy all of my troops for some extra value so i can have uh, at least 32 trophies or like 30 trophies Guys, don't worry. Just uh, control your royal champion and archer queen, so you can get a lot of three star in any kind of bases. Just control your royal champion with your invisible spell. Let's jump into another attack, and here we go with this kind of box bases. Just make some funnel and spam all of your troops with three heroes. Wait for RC, so you can take down the town hall that is uh, and the corner of the base. and here we go with uh, all troops burden ability just wait here we go i need some more value for uh, deploying my royal champion and here we go i have deployed my royal champion let's go invisible spell town hall has to go down and here we go i have to save my rc with another i mean last 
visible spell I have to use on my RC and this is clearly a 3 star so what I said guys use your invisible spell properly on your royal champion so you can easily 3 star any basis with this strategy And this time I got the box type basis and this is more easier because you can make funnel easily and all of my troops are going directly to center of this base and town on goes is down that's a good thing for me and I can deploy my royal champion from another side to take some defenses invisible spell here we go and guys you can see we can we can get a lot of destruction with royal champion and invisible spell if there's monolith or scatter sort you can easily take down those defenses with your royal champion believe me guys this kind of attack strategies are overpowered anytime if you can control your royal champion and queen so that's it for today if you want more strategy videos comment down below i will try to make videos on it Happy clashing, clash on!